how that is. And and the the narrative of this film and, and Alex's struggles, you know, throughout all of it. And you think about the confidence that you have to have in yourself to attempt something like this and the the will to do it and know that you're capable of doing this thing and I trusted myself that much. If you can get that much out of a film that find something in yourself that you can trust and believe in it and buy into it wholly and do that, I mean, that's such an inspirational thing. It's such an inspirational it's very, story. It's very yeah. inspirational. Yeah, I've also like down some roads that are always on the wall. Okay, so, <laughs> so the morning that you actually went and did it, the thing that struck me was you went from, from going from sort of being nervous about it in some way uh, uh, because you were distracted because everyone was watching and filming and everything to having this like confidence, like you were ahead of schedule. And and the other thing, like you get to that problem boulder, that, 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 yeah, that's the problem, yeah. Of, okay, and, and you, you look at the camera and you, you're like, you're like, aha, like it was such a great moment, like I got this. Like what, what, what was the, the shift in, yeah, I mean, the main difference is just six more months of preparation. Oh. I mean, so, you know, you talk about, I mean, well, because the first attempt, it's like, oh, the pressure and the people and the whatever. I mean, that all sounds, you know, I mean, those were all maybe compounding the problem. But, I mean, basically the issue was that I just was not prepared. Um, I just, there just wasn't enough time. The, the fall season was closing. It was going to start raining and snowing. I, I knew the top half of the route really well, but I didn't know the bottom half that well. And so, you know, I knew that the season was about to shut down. The weather was done. And so I was like, oh, we'll give it a try. And then ultimately, I just wasn't wasn't quite ready. But uh, but I think what I really gained from the failed attempt was that now I knew that it was possible. You know, I was like, oh, I was so close. Had I just been a little more prepared, had I felt a little more confident, had my ankle been a little more healed, and I felt comfortable on this one foothold that I didn't trust, then um, you know, I was like, oh, it's basically there. And so then I went home to Vegas and basically trained all winter. I was super super motivated. And when I came back in the spring, I was like, I know it's possible. I know that I'm extra fit. I'm healthy. I'm ready. And then so by the time I actually did it, I was like, I'm. 100 ready for this. Wow, wow, but you can tell. <laughs> if, you think, if you think about Brian Lox, who's a great friend of mine, I'm sure some of you guys in the room know Brian. He's, he's just an incredible guy. And, and not only that, works for CA and, and my agent, but he's also been one of my best friends for over 25 years. But I've been on tour and been touring with my wife, and been, we've been two years of Soul to Soul. And, and we were in the middle of the summer, and I was in, actually in the middle of recording an album at the same time, my first solo project in a couple of years. So I was flying in from tour and, and going to the studio and spending three days in the studio sleeping on the couch, 18 hour days in the studio making a record. And Brian says, look, I just saw this incredible film over the weekend, and they're curious if you would consider writing a song for the score. And, I, and he told me about it, I'm like, you know, God, Brian, you know, first off, I, I don't know that I have the brain power right now, to do that, I don't. I don't know that I have the talent to do that. And, and I, what the hell do I know about mountain climbing? I mean, I sang it once in a song a long time ago about skydiving and mountain climbing. I've never done either one of those things. And, and I'm a pilot. I fly the plane. And I don't want to be anywhere outside with it not having an engine. So um, I told him to send it to me. I'll watch it, and, and you know, if I feel inspired, then maybe I'll, I'll have an idea or two. And he sent the film to me, and, and I watched it immediately with my, my daughters, two of my daughters and my wife, and had a notepad with me. And I, I fell in love with Alex immediately. I fell in love with the big theme of the movie, what I felt with Nick, and what it could mean to a lot of people, what it could mean to people who are, are trying to climb all sorts of mountains in their lives and trying to get over all sorts of obstacles in their life, uh, trying to swim all kinds of rivers in their lives. It, it made me think of all sorts of things and all sorts of challenges that people have and, and how we overcome them. And uh, I made all these notes, and, and I talked to a friend of mine, Lori McKenna, who, who wrote the song with me, and sent it to her. And, and we, she watched it, and she wrote the same notes that I wrote. And we compared our notes after not talking to each other. I was like, gosh, you got the same phrases, the same ideas that I had. And, and we, we both fell in love with the film. And, and, and I think it's it, not only is it a fantastic documentary, it's one of the best films I've ever seen. Yeah. And uh, it's, it, it, I, I love what it says. I love the inspiration that it has. And, I mean, you can't help but love this guy when you watch him. You can't help but look at this guy and think he's one of the coolest people you ever met. Yeah. You know, I, 